yes here if you want to share anything here if you want to share anything here there should be run on server wise yes sharing this is main purpose of server operation is to share the resources see this server wise is like this see there is system in networking networking suppose server computer for example server computer yes next other computers computer one next computer two yes computer three yes computer four yes computer five yes computer six like this main number of systems in network yes server computer first one is server computer okay yes computer one yes these may be clients all the clients they are the clients and server computer all are in the same network all are in the same network right okay yes on the server computer yes now deploying some application or data suppose if you want to share some application here yes that application has to deploy on the server here okay so that application application on this for example here facebook application facebook application running as server ways see the server computer should be installed with server ways like linux server or windows server yes if it is installed with yes linux server or windows server yes that application can share by main number of clients here all the clients okay see here facebook app for example facebook application across the world wide yes from anywhere across the world wide we can share the facebook application reason that facebook application is running on server ways linux server next one more example durga website durga website also running on linux server so because of that we are able to share it okay so any one any anything if you want to share it anything wanted to share it here that should be deployed on the server here suppose if you want to share the data share the share data sharing okay so generally data maintaining by the database server right that database server should be on the server system database server should be on the server ways maybe linux ways windows ways if data is on the server ways that can be shared by all of the users here many number of users so this is server okay so server serving resources okay yes if you want to share anything if you want to share anything that should be available on the server ways otherwise you cannot share it here best example database oracle database running on linux server so that from different locations we can connect to oracle database you can pick, take the data from oracle database similarly suppose yes for example facebook application facebook applications running on server ways like linux ways so from different locations of the world we can connect to facebook because of that is running a server here yes if it is server ways that supports networking it's if it is server ways that supports networking here so with the help of network we can connect to servers we can get the data here sharing data okay yes linux is a multi server ways multi server ways means it's a server ways so many number of users can share the data at a time correct right? so this is about server okay yes next multitasking linux is a multitasking ways multitasking yes what is multitasking ways linux is multitasking what is multitasking here see yes not only linux even windows also multitasking ways windows also supports multitasking ways yes what is multitasking see windows yes here open some folder right some d drive is open here yes next at the same time yes go to training this is open here next at the same time the linux open here at the same time word document open at the same time notepad open right so this is called as multitasking multitasking multiple jobs are running at a time here see for example here windows you can see the services windows services services dot msc yes you can see all the services yes that services it shows all background running services means multiple jobs running at a time here okay i think already might have some idea about services here so opening that services yes that shows see that all the services running in windows ways this much of services okay so these all are running parallel right so this is nothing but multitasking multi multiple jobs are running here so called as multitasking okay right yes windows it's a multi user as multitasking like a linux ways 
like Linux base, see first two features multi user multitasking, multi user multitasking. These two features supporting any ways. Let us see with Linux ways also. Let us go to Linux ways. Let us log in into that Linux ways demo log demo user. See in Linux ways. Yes, open new terminal. I am opening terminal. Yes, terminal here submitting some job. Submitting some job. Suppose, for example, here. Here I am submitting some job here. For example, Java job. For example, Java some test dot class file. Yes, next I can open one more session new terminal. Yes, let me expand new terminal. Here running more job. Suppose Hadoop job. Hadoop some jar file something like this. Some Hadoop job. Okay, like this you can open one more here. Suppose at the same time opening text data. Text data. Yes, I'm opening word patch. Like this, multiple things. Multiple things you can run anytime here. Okay. Next. Yes, next one more. Yes, I'm opening one more term, new terminal. See this. So there are three terminals open here. Text editor is open here. Yes. All these terminals are open here. Three terminals. Okay. Yes, see the three terminals open. At a time, you can submit multiple jobs here. First job here, next second job, second terminal, next another job, another terminal like this. Okay. So PS iPhone EF. This one shows all current running jobs in my system. See this PS minus EF. This is showing list of jobs running currently. This command output of this command is list of jobs. List of jobs running currently. List of jobs running currently. Like a services. Like a services in Windows ways, PS minus EF. This one shows all background running jobs. Yes, let me check how many jobs are running currently. World count minus L. Yes, 228. 228 jobs are running currently here. 228 jobs are running currently. This much of background services running here. Yes, more about PS iPhone EF later we'll discuss. Yes, 228 jobs are running. This is called as multitasking. Okay, multitasking. So at a time we can run the multiple jobs here. Okay, at a time we can run the multiple jobs. So that is called as multitasking, correct? Multitasking. So multiple jobs. Yes. So nothing multitasking, nothing multiple jobs. Multiple jobs can run at a time. Okay, how to submit multiple jobs in Linux ways? Yes, later we'll discuss. We have separate topic and that time we'll discuss here. Okay. So Linux, it's a multi-user ways and multitasking ways. See first two features are common for every ways for all the operating systems for all of the operating systems first two features are common here okay for all the operating systems yes first two features multi user ways multitasking ways these two are common for every ways windows provide these two features linux provides next unix provides solaris like this every ways every ways provides all these two features here first two, two features First two features are common for all the operating systems. Okay. Yes, next. Step. Come to this. 3, 4, 5, 6. 3, 4, 5, 6. Now these, these things. 3, 4, 5, 6. These are only from the Unix and Linux. Only from Unix way. Unix and Linux here. Not other operating systems. Unix and its flavors. Okay. Yes, Unix and Linux here. Unix and Linux. So let us see next. Open source. What is open source? open source yes unix is a open source operating system unix is a open source unix is a open source but windows is not a open source unix is a open source but windows is not a open source here okay what is exactly open source yes about open source yesterday a little bit discussed still i will explain once again here so exactly what is open source yes unix is open source linux is also open source what is exactly open source? See, there are two things here. Open source. Open source. Next one more. They say freeware. Open source and freeware. There are two things in this. So what is open source? What is freeware here? See, both are at free of cost. Freeware can be used at free of cost. Open source also at free of cost. The difference is here. Open source. Yes, including source code. Yes, including source code is available for us including source code you can take it here open source means including source codes okay including source code you can download it 
okay including source code you can download it and you can modify okay yes we can modify this one here we can yes modify we can modify this we can change the existing features okay unix is a open source linux is also open source so since these are open source here many companies many companies they have downloaded the source programs unix and linux both were developing c language unix and linux unix and linux both were developing c language here yes all these c programs that c programs you can download it and you can modify you can add some more features you can add some more features yes if you want to remove you can remove the unwanted features okay you can modify that here so that is the reason called as open source if you able to modify if you able to modify that is called as open source if you able to modify that is called as open source open source for example unix is open source linux is open source hadoop is also open source one more example hadoop hadoop it's a open source open source hadoop was developed in java all these source programs you can download it all these source programs you can download it and you can use it here. all these source programs you can download and you can modify and you can release the market simply here right that is called as open source open source means if you able to modify open source means if you able to yes modify yes if you able to modify yes if you able to modify that is called as open source okay what is freeware freeware means yes it's free of cost you can download you can use it here suppose for example here for example yes let us take some tool suppose yes let me take some tool here win scp tool yes just i'm opening win scp tool yes using this win scp tool we can move the jobs from windows ways to linux servers so this is win scp tool okay yes how to work with the win scp tool later we'll discuss now this tool using this tool we can upload the files from windows to linux ways yes in real time here we have to move the jobs we have to move the jobs into production servers so that time we can use this win scp tool okay so this win scp tool is a it's not a open source it's a freeware yes you can download and you can use it free of cost but you cannot modify its features see this is layout right something like this okay so this layout you cannot modify as this you have to use that here you cannot modify its features here okay so this is called a freeware freeware it can be just at free of cost it is only free of cost you can use but you cannot modify its features so this is called as yes freeware this is called as freeware okay next one more example this is a putty tool yes this is also freeware yes it's a freeware at free of cost download and you can use no licensing nothing here yes at free of cost you can use but you cannot modify this you cannot modify it okay so this is called as freeware freeware open source difference is that okay of course yesterday we had discussed about this one yes today reason is yes somebody new members are there for the purpose of new members repeated the topic okay open source freeware is like difference okay yes open source and freeware both are at free of cost without any licensing you can download you can use the difference is open source means it can be modified freeware cannot be modified that's the difference here okay yes unix linux both are open source operating systems unix and linux unix and linux unix linux both are open source operating systems but windows is not a open source windows is not a open source okay yes see unix unix because of its open source yes unix because of its open source from the unix operating system yes from the unix operating system many operating systems were developed here many companies they have taken unix source code many companies taken that unix source code and modified released as linux ways released as linux ways next solaris ways okay next yes ibm ax ibm aix okay next hp ux okay hp x yeah these are the yes linux is solaris ibm x spx these are the modified versions of unix ways modified versions of unix ways okay so these are kind of the flavors they are the flavors of unix ways so because of unix is a open source many companies taken the source code they have developed their own operating systems release the market here so these are the these are the different distributions of unix ways or we can say modified versions of unix ways or we can say flavors okay next 
Next, come to Linux OS. Linux is also open source. Linux is also open source, right? So because of, yes, it's, like, it's open source. Since it's open source, yes, many users. Because it's open source, many companies, they have taken Linux source codes. Linux source codes, they modified, they have modified and released with their company names, like uh, like Ubuntu Linux OS, Ubuntu, Ubuntu Linux OS, next, Red Hat Enterprise Linux OS, Red Hat Enterprise Linux OS, CentOS, CentOS, okay, next, Linux Mint, Linux Mint, okay, next, Fedora, so these are the different different distributions of Linux OS. Exactly what is distribution later we'll discuss. Okay. Yes, Linux. Linux was modified to this much of operating systems. Yes, Ubuntu, Red Hat, CentOS, Linux Mint, and Fedora. These are the modified version of Linux OS. Okay. These, these much of distributions are the market here. Ubuntu, Linux, Red Hat, Linux, CentOS, Linux, Linux Mint, Fedora, Linux. Like the different Linux operating systems. Different Linux operations are having different features. Okay, so those things later we'll see. Okay, so here Linux, yes, because of its open source, yes, this much of Linux flavors were developed. Okay, these are the Unix flavors Linux, Solaris, IBM X, HPX, they are the flavors of Unix base. Next, Ubuntu, Red Hat, CentOS, they are flavors of Linux base. Flavors are distribution source, we can say here. Yes, why calling a distribution? Yes, what is the meaning of distribution here? Suppose, for example, here Durga is a company. Durga is a company. They can download complete Unix operating system. After downloading, they can modify it and they can release as Durga Unix. Durga Unix. So they, they can distribute in the market. Okay, Durga company, they can they can distribute in the market. So that is one of the distributions. Durga is, is a one of the distributions. Okay, similarly, Linux based. Suppose same. Durga, Durga Linux. Yet they can take in, they can take Linux base, they can modify, they can release the market with their name here, Durga Linux. So Durga is a one of the distributions. So distribution is nothing but just it's the name of the company here. Name of the company, that's it here. Okay. So these are yes, Unix, these are Unix distributions. Linux, Solaris, IBM X, HPX. So these are distributions of Unix base here. Yes, when come to Linux, Ubuntu, Red Hat, CentOS, Linux Mint, Fedora. So these are the distributions of yeah, distributions of Linux base. Yes, reason is because of it's a open source. Okay, main reason is because of open source. Okay, so this is about open source. Okay, right. Next, Windows is not a open source. Only Unix and Linux open source. See, Solaris is not a open source. IBM X is not a open source. HP Unix is not open source. These are not open source operating systems. These are not open source operating systems. Only Linux and Unix are open source operating systems. Other operating systems are not open source operating systems. Okay, so this is open source. Yes, next. Next one is portability. Yes, Linux is a portable OS. Linux and Unix both are portable operating systems. What is portability? Let us see about portability. What does mean? What is a portability here? Let us see about portability. So, what is portable ways? Portable means independent of hardware. Independent of hardware. Unix and Linux works with any hardware in the market here. Any hardware. Like we have different machines in the market. Yes, like like Intel machines. Okay, Intel machines. Next, Intel based some AMD processor, it's also Intel based. Next, there are some IBM machines available. Okay, next step. Yes, IBM machines. Next, high speed machines like Spark machines. Like that, we have different kind of machines in the market here. In the market, we have different kind of hardware. Different kind of hardware. Okay, yes, if it is Windows, Windows is a Intel dependent. Of course, Intel and AMD both are same series. Okay. So Windows is a Intel and AMD dependent. It won't work with other hardware. Whereas Unix and Linux, Unix and Linux works with any kind of hardware like IBM machines or Spark machines. It works with any kind of hardware components here. Any kind of hardware, independent of hardware. 
Okay. Yes, Unix, Linux, Unix and Linux. Both are portable. Okay, how you can say portable? Reason is these are independent of hardware components. Independent of hardware. It works with any processor and any hardware. That's the reason called as portable operations. Okay. Yes, next. 51. Linux is secure wires. Yes. Most interesting topic this is. Let us say about security concept in Linux ways. Yes. Here secure ways because of these features because of this security here linux got lot of popularity okay so because of security reasons linux got lot of popularity right okay main reason is security reason here okay so when you're talking about security here there are two things here first one is first one is virus virus second one is data hacking there are two things in this okay so first one virus second one data hacking so what is virus what is data hacking let us see that half of that will go to linux security concept first let us see what is virus what is data hacking here what is virus exactly here virus is just one kind of program okay just it's a program virus is a just it's a program okay it's a program okay yes it will eat Yes, once a virus downloads your system, it will eat all of your file system. All of your file system here. Yes, your, your voice file system and everything here. All of your file system. Maybe your personal files, maybe voice files. It will eat all the files. Once it started eating here, yes, voice will not start. Voice fails. Even loss of your files also. Okay. Virus just is one kind of program. Yes, it will eat everything. Yes, it will simply it will eat all the files here okay yes including waste files suppose your your files the yes uh, even eating your files no problem once various files started eating here waste will not start that is virus so what is data hacking here nothing but data theft without your knowledge taking your data without knowledge taking your data suppose if you visited any sites if you visited any sites yes download some unknown sites if you visited any unknown sites here downloading some unknown programs that unknown program may be virus program or hacker program suppose if it is hacker program if it is hacker program that hacker program will go to your your system just opening folders and reading all the files then upload to that site okay hacker program will not eat your files okay it will it won't it won't affect it won't affect on various hacker program just only taking your data and posting to that site that is that's it. That is hacker program. But virus program is very dangerous. If virus once received virus here, your system may be failing here, right? But hacker program, even hacker program received your system will not fail here. Your system is safe, but loss of your data. Suppose if you have some valuable information, personal, some sensitive data, like passwords, banking accounts and passwords, okay, loss of all the data, right? So that is called data hacking, okay? With Linux ways, there is no chance. With Linux ways, there is no chance of data hacking. There is no chance of attacking virus. Reason is, reason is, in Linux there is a security concept like some permissions, read permission, yes, write permission, read permission, write permission, and execute permission. There are some permissions concepts. Okay. Yes, to read any data, first of all, you must have read permission. Without read permission, you cannot read the file data. Write permission. Without write permission, you cannot modify the file data. Execute permission means, without execute permission, even you can't open the folder. To open any folder, you must have execute permission. Without execute permission, you cannot open the folders. Okay. Read permission. Without read permission, you cannot read data. Write permission. Without write permission, you cannot modify data. So read means just reading data, write means to modify the files here, execute means to change into folders. So without these permissions, nobody can interact with the files or files, folders here, right? No one can access. Okay. Yes. Suppose in Linux space, if you created some directory, suppose let us some X folder. As a owner, you can open this folder. Suppose maybe some project folder created. Some project folder created. Okay. As a owner. You can open that folder, that project folder. 
Yes, you can read the contents here. Fathers cannot. One second. I'll show you with line experience. Yes. First in working directly demo LS. In this, there is a project folder, for example, here. This is a project folder. Okay. Project folder. LS. No, I'm yes. I'm listing contents of project folder. Yes. I'm able to see that contents. Okay, support change mode. Change mode. Yes, U minus R on project folder. Yes, remote. The read permission remote. Half removing read permission. If you try to read the project contents, yes, permission then cannot. Without permissions, yes, you cannot access. Okay, without any permissions, we cannot access the folders. Project is a folder. Okay, without permission, you cannot access that. You must have read permission. Okay. Next, you enter into project folder, you must have execute permission, otherwise cannot. As a owner, as a owner, you can. Okay, just now I have removed permission for the owner. That's the reason. Permission then in message. As a owner, you can enter. Okay. Even as a owner, you must have the permission. Once the permission removed, even as a owner also cannot access. Okay. Yes, now here. Yes, as a owner, of course, as a owner, we can enter into folders and we can read the file data. But others, others cannot access our folders. No one can open your folders or files. Okay. Suppose any virus program received into your system or hacker program received into your system. Okay. These programs comes under others. Yes, these programs are others. You are not a owner of this hacker program. Hacker program created by some unknown user. Okay. Hacker program simply received from some unknown user. So unknown user is the owner of, of that hacker program and virus program. Okay, means those are other, others. They come from others here. You are not a owner. As a owner, you can open the project folder or any folder. But hacker programs, yes, who is the owner for the hacker program? You are not a owner. Somebody owner, some unknown user, right? That unknown user don't have the permissions to open the files and folders. Okay, so various program, it will try to, to open your folder in Linux ways, but fails. Reason is not a owner. Yes, data hack, hacker program. Hacker program, it will try to open your folder but fails because don't have the permissions. Okay, so this virus and hacker programs, yes, received from unknown user. You are not a owner of that programs. As a owner, you can open, but yes, you are not a owner. Somebody is owner, some unknown user, right? That as a unknown user, that hacker program try to open your folder and fails. Even virus programmers try to open but fails, right? Okay, so this is security for your data. Okay, so everything is permissions. Without permissions, no one can access your folders and files. So with Linux space and Unix space, there is no chance of hacking your data. There is no chance of attacking virus. So that is important topic with Linux space here. Secure because of security here. Because of security, Linux got this much of popularity, right? Okay, yes. That permissions concept, yes, we'll discuss later. Yes, this is minimum two hours concept. That time I'll discuss very clearly. Okay, now here, yes, I'm saying that Linux is most popular, right? Because of security reason here, because of security reasons, Linux got the most popularity. But see, wherever you go, you go to any office, you'll see Windows ways, right? You go to any any office here, any front office. Okay, may go to some bank. In bank, you'll see all the Windows operations. Okay, go to some other company. Go to anywhere. In front office, you'll see all the Windows operations. But I'm saying about Linux, right? I'm highlighting Linux ways. But wherever you go, you'll see Windows ways, right? Now, exactly where using Linux ways. Let us see that. Just a minute. Yes, exactly. We are using Linux ways. Let us see that. Yes, in software, there are some environments like this. First one is learning environment. Second one, dev environment. Dev environment. Next third one, test environment. Test environment. Test environment, okay. Learning environment, dev environment, test environment. Fourth one is 
prod in your run mesh prod environments these are the different environments in the real time in software fields okay so let us see one by one so first about learning environments what is learning here yes as a learner now you are a learner right so you have to you using some learning learning environment right for example here suppose learning java hard c language so for that you can use windows ways right just windows ways yes on top of windows ways just install java and you can learn simply no problem you can use windows ways learning environments no problem this yes windows no problem okay suppose windows system suddenly corrupted okay suddenly stopped duty virus the duty virus windows virus suddenly stopped yes duty virus windows virus suddenly stopped yes no problem even windows virus is suddenly stopped no problem for us reason is yes we can install one more copy of windows virus and you can install java and you can start your working chair. no problem with that so learning environment even virus attack no problem yes even using windows face no problem right okay next one more here suppose yes one more example take bank in bank client yes client system is windows face right from the client connect to server right yes data and everything is on the server so no problem even client corrupted no problem they will install one more windows office and they will connect the server no problem okay so this is about learning environment learning environment windows can be used no problem okay right next come to development environment yes in development environment also you can use windows ways windows ways see in development environment suppose ways is corrupted no suddenly ways corrupted no problem yes no problem is not an issue reason is here see in development environment one minute yes learning windows no problem with this okay next when complete development environment yes development dev environment windows you can use okay no problem suppose for example here working in some project working in some project here suppose maybe 3 months or 4 months of working 3 to 4 months okay suddenly ways corrupted no problem no problem with your code no loss of your code yes you may be developing some lot of code right okay maybe after 3 months or 4 months lot of files many number of files you be developing right many number of files developing okay yes even your ways corrupted no problem reason is yes in every company they will maintain some svn sub versioning sub versioning server svn server yes in, yes every company every development company they will have svn server okay yes at the end of the end of the day once your work finished at the end of the day, you have to upload into svn server at the end of the day yes your work that whatever the work is done that has to upload that has to upload into svn server svn server right Yes, in every day work we have to upload into SPN server. Okay, suppose next next day after going to office, suddenly our OS is not starting. No problem. Just you, just you call your Windows admin. Just raise a ticket. Yes, you will come to our system. You will install one more copy of Windows OS. Half installing. Now you can connect into SPN. That is called check in check outs. Check in means log in. Just log in to SPN and download all the previous code. you can continue your work no problem with that okay even development also yes your os is corrupted no problem with that because that svn server is available instead of svn server every code will be there no problem nothing to worry about it so this is a case of development server. development environment next let us go to testing environment testing environment in testing environment what happens let us see in testing environment suppose in development project completed project yes in development suppose project completed after finishing project here the project build yes in development project build the project will yes they will upload into svn server finally upload into svn server okay yes development in develop once development completed 
<coughs> simply development team they will build the project after building project here they will upload into the SPN server okay simply SPN server they will put into the SPN server right now instead of SPN server that project build is ready okay now testing now testing department they will connect to into that SPN just check in half hour they will download yes build project build yes from the SPN so from the SPN they will download yes, they will download project build so getting project build right yes after getting project build here they will start testing they will start testing okay suppose they are using windows operating system testing environment they are using windows operating system no problem it's not an issue it's not an issue reason is here suppose their os is corrupted suddenly here suddenly yes it's not working no problem yeah they can install one more copy of windows OS. yes they can download one second build here same build they can download one second here okay even last of build no problem already build is there already build is there in svn they can download from the svn they can restart testing here right okay yes even testing environment has no problem even who is connected no problem testing environment okay so learning environment nothing to worry dev environment nothing to worry test also nothing to worry okay next fourth one yes pod environments yes this is most important one pod environments pod environments so this is mostly used one yes sorry uh, pod environments most important one yes what is exactly pod environment let us see about pod environments yes once testing completed project moves to client location that is called go live yes svn sub versioning it's a server yeah svn is not an issue i can show that i worked many number of times okay yes i'll give some brief idea about svn also the server anytime i can explain that okay yes svn server is not an issue i'll show that okay yes prod environment yes what is prod environment let us see prod environment support project move to client location after moving to client location yes project is running at the client location right when running at client look at that generating some data suppose for example here bank banking application you depositing some amount right so what are deposit amount that that figure the data simply goes to server and storing some location right that is called as prod environment with actual data prod environment is actual real data see learning environment using sample data sample data corrupted no problem in dev environment also using sample data suppose if it is corrupted no problem in test environment also using sample data no problem okay no problem with the sample data but when come to prod environment when come to prod environment it's a real data it's a real data so this real data has to place somewhere some system right okay that must be must be secure that real data suppose facebook application running as some system that facebook data must be secure data right that data that that location is called as exactly it's a prod environment suppose for example here for example take some india other id other id okay yes all the records to maintain other id yes indian government they are maintaining two data centers two data centers are there two data centers they are maintaining here okay two data centers yes one is at bangalore another one is haryana two locations bangalore and haryana these two locations they are maintaining two data centers okay each data center with 10000 systems yes more than 10000 systems are there 10000 systems okay they are using 10000 systems yes indian government using 10000 system to maintain our yes or other id the two locations two data centers yes very big data center okay yes data center can 10000 systems sometimes maybe lakhs of systems are so for example let us take facebook they are using lakhs of systems okay yes all the lakhs of systems are meaning some data right that is called as exactly production environment that is part environment okay so first data data center 
data center that divides into number of clusters each cluster can some racks the tracks can some nodes okay that is called a data center okay the data center can support real data that is called a production environment okay yes if it is fraud environment if it is fraud environment that must be secure the data must be secure so how to get the security here yes by using secure ways means we must use linux based compulsory in fraud environment we should use linux based compulsory compulsory linux based we should use suppose if it is using windows ones here yes chance of corrupting data chance of hacking data okay so that's the reason data centers no one no one use yes windows based everyone will be using linux based only linux based data centers thousands of systems see suppose go to any front office you can see 10 systems or 100 systems max and thousand systems right but go to any data center yes in data center you can see lakhs of systems yes i worked for 2 years in data center okay 2 years our data center more than 25000 systems are there we have three data centers we have three data centers one is at chicago another one is yes in australia sydney another one is cincinnati usa yes one is chicago location chicago location so that is one data center sin sinati is another location okay that is near california next another location sydney sydney yes at three locations we have three data centers two co three copies of our data we are maintaining yes all the data centers are maintained with linux base because of security reasons because of security reasons okay linux unix solaris ibm x these four are having secure ways all flavors of unix based secure ways why linux is popular see ibm x is also secure ways unix also secure ways next hp unix also secure ways solaris also secure ways but linux is most popular reason is not only security here linux easy to work easy to work with linux ways apart from security other features also available with linux ways it's a open source one more linux ways okay so with linux ways not only security here many things available okay all flavors of unix ways are secure ways all are secure ways okay so in fraud environment compulsory we should use linux ways so this is where exactly using linux ways exactly where using linux ways is fraud environment okay right yes nowadays here see learning environment dev hunt test in this environment also yes we are using linux also okay see here some companies some startup companies okay startup companies they are using ubuntu linux ways when they develop and dev environment and test environment because a freeware it's a free of cost available ubuntu is a free of cost okay so you can dev environment dev and test dev and test these two environment some startup companies they are using linux ways also yes we can use no problem okay linux is like a windows ways no difference okay but here linux is secure ways like a windows ways linux also user friendly you can work very easily okay compared linux windows ways linux is very secure ways okay right yes so linux ubuntu linux nowadays using everywhere even learning also learning is also using that linux ways okay so this is about security because of security reasons linux got most popular this year every data center all the data centers they will use linux ways they will not use windows ways okay linux or they can use ibm x also ibm x and hpx and unix but linux is most popular using reason reason is yes not only secure here linux is easy to work linux is very easily user friendly compared to other flavors of unix ways right okay so this is security concept okay right yes next next one six one shell scripting shell scripting so this is nothing but just it's a programming it's a programming scripting facility is a programming 
case like uh, like uh, C language and Java. Here also some operators available, operators control statements. So using that we can write some programming. That programming is not a shell scripting concept. Yes, what is purpose of main shell scripting here? Suppose in real time, generally in real time, suppose project is running a Linux base. Main project is running a Linux base. Yes, all the activities we can we can't do. Uh, for all the transactions we can't use the projects. Okay, besides that projects, small small components you have to develop to support that project. To support that purpose, any project is line, running a Linux base. To support that project, we have developed some components. Okay, that components we can develop in shell scripting. Small, small components. Like in, in shell scripting, we can develop this. Next, one more thing, shell scripting is a open source. At any time, you can modify it. Advantage of scripting is, advantage of scripting, maybe shell scripting, maybe Python scripting. Advantage of scripting is, it's a open source. At any time, you can modify it. Okay. Yes, in projects, there are some components frequently modifying. So, but tomorrow, some look and feel. Yes, today, some look and feel. That look and feel changing, right? Today, something look and feel. Tomorrow, something here. For example, you see Google. Yes. See, in Google, so but today, some look and feel. Next day, some look and feel. Something like that. The changing look and feel, right? One minute. Yeah. That look and feel changing frequently, right? Yes, where we can use? How how to develop that look and feel changing every day? Reason that was developed in script. Yes, JavaScript. Yes, JSP. In Java, JSP, JSP is open source. JSP is in some JavaScript. It's a scripting. Okay, JSP is open source. Because of open source, anytime you can modify that JSP is. So even modified here, yeah, that application will read that and presenting automatically. At any time you can change it. So frequently changing some components. Scenario where you want to change some components frequently here. That case we can go for shell script. Suppose if it is project, suppose Java project is done. Once build is completed, nobody can touch it. Suppose C project completed. Once build is done, nobody can touch it. So maybe dot you take any project, maybe SAP project or maybe Work ERP project, you can take any project. Once project build is completed here, yes, once deployed, no one can change it. If you want to change it, then you have to take the permission of higher other higher other authorities, like client permission. We should take the client permission. Next, we should take the source code and you should modify and you have to test it. Lot of things you have to do that. Okay, that complete life cycle, project life cycle has to repeat it here. But using shell scripting here. Small, small components you can develop in shell scripting. At any time you can modify. It's open source. Because of open source, at any time we can modify and we can use that. So that, that, that components are particularly to support main projects. So this is advantage of shell scripting here. Right? Okay. Yes. Next. Seventh one. GA facility. Graphical user interface. Yes. Linux is a GA base. Let me open it. See this. Linux. Type like GA. You can see that GA. Yes, one minute. So this is GA. Linux. GA. Okay, so like a Windows finish. Linux is also GA. Very user friendly, very easy to use this one. Okay. So these are the features. These are the features of Linux base. All the features. Okay. So first one, Linux features. Multi-service means is a server so that we can share the data. Multitasking, multiple jobs can be submitted at a time here. We can run multiple jobs. So multi user multitasking. These two features are common for every base. All the operating systems in the software field will support first two features. Multi user multi ways common for all the operating systems. Next three, four, five, six open source. Windows is not a open source. It's not a portable ways. Windows is not a secure ways. Windows will not provide any scripting facility. Okay. These three, four, five, six only from Linux and Unix its flavors. Okay. 
yes when come to open source only linux unix open source not others okay only linux and unix open source others are not open like solaris is not a open source ibm ax is not a open source okay right yes those are not open source next linux unix portable operating systems okay next secure os next shell scripting facility right okay next when come to gi unix no gi unix will not provide any graphical user interface okay yes linux provides gi like a windows face like a windows face in linux right so linux is more than all the operating systems linux provides many number of features here okay so these are main features their main features here apart from other features other features later we'll see one by one yes in actual topic i'll be covering linux features we'll discuss next these are the main features of linux face right okay so this is just features one minute let me go to document yes in document so till now what i've discussed yesterday we discussed about some basics right the basics of software all the basics are there in document here you can follow the document here so don't worry about notes in this document you can take from the online team okay you can follow the document yesterday topic you can follow documents okay next today topic also yes in document i have prepared very clearly okay see first one features of linux ways see linux is one of the most popular version of unix operating system unix operating system okay yes what are the features of linux ways yes multi user ways multitasking ways or multi programming open source next security next portability and shell scripting programming or shell scripting okay next user friendly these seven features okay these are the features of linux ways okay right yes next linux architecture this topic tomorrow we'll discuss so before going to that one more topic this linux distributions what are the distributions of linux ways yes maybe ask me some question yes what's the distribution you worked maybe ask me some entry question yes what's the distribution of linux you work here yes linux distributions let us see all the distributions ubuntu red hat centos linux mint and fedora see in this ubuntu red hat and centos these three are same no difference no difference okay commands and everything is same only difference is yes one minute let me explain the differences yes ubuntu linux ubuntu red hat sent sent with these three are from the same company same features the difference is ubuntu it's a freeware freeware as well as open source freeware and open source ubuntu is a freeware that free of cost you can download and you can modify this also freeware as well as open source next centos centos just is a freeware only freeware only freeware not open source next yes red hat enterprise linux ways so this is licensed version it's licensed version okay without license you can't use okay now let us see we are using ubuntu centos here ubuntu centos in learning we can use in learning environments development environments and testing these three environments you can go for yes ubuntu on centos next if it is caught in real time fraud environment production environment yes clients they will use red hat linux ways they will purchase license yes once license purchased here yes maybe license purchased for 3 years or 4 years yes that red hat has to support support the clients any issue raises they have to give the support okay freeware if it is freeware they won't give the support yes ubuntu with ubuntu there is no support in sent ways no support suppose any issue raises that way it will fail simply way it will fail here okay yes suppose if it is development testing no problem even way it fail no problem here but 
in real time fraud environments that production data yes production data yes to maintain that production data server must be stable server it should not fail okay any issue there yes that should be fixed that has to fix immediately okay with red hat linux space any issue there yes just you raise the ticket with red hat company they will connect to your servers they will they will fix the issue immediately just within 10 minutes matter of time they will fix the issue yes your server will be running here okay so in, in real time fraud environment you must use red hat yes everyone will ever use red hat linux space okay in fraud environment everyone they will use red hat not other systems right okay yes next when come to comments yes all are same here ubuntu linux space sent ways red hat everywhere comments are same user level comments admin level comments everything is same no difference no difference kernel shell and everything same no difference okay yes if you have the ubuntu experience or sent ways experience you can work with red hat also okay now here may be asking some question what's the distribution of linux evoked simply you can say red hat as well as ubuntu also both you can say here because most of the companies they will use red hat and ubuntu here sent ways are rare case sent ways rare case most of the cases most of the companies they will use ubuntu and red hat so you can say red hat and ubuntu here so what's the distribution of linux evoked here simply you can say red hat and ubuntu ways these two things you can say answer here right yes so this is these are the flavors okay flavors are distributions distribution is nothing but just one one just one kind of product here distribution just name of the company here like different ubuntu is one company name okay yes ubuntu next red hat next sent ways these three are from the red hat linux only here these three from the red hat company here red hat okay ubuntu sent ways red hat from the red hat company these three are from the same company okay right next one more fedora okay next one more debian os next one more suisha linux os so these are different distributions of linux os okay so that's all about distribution distribution is nothing but just a company name just like a brand just like a brand that's it here okay yes Yes, Swarup auto sys part of shell script. Not auto sys, that is, yes, auto, auto scripting, like uh, job scheduling, that comes in part of scripting here. Automatic running some jobs, comes in the job scheduling. Okay, so these are the distributions. Yes, next topic is Linux architecture. Yes, one of the important topic. So this about this architecture tomorrow will continue. Okay. Yes, let us wind up for today. Yes, any doubts for today? Yes, tomorrow Linux architecture and also I'm covering how to install Linux. I'm planning to explain how to sorry, sorry. Tomorrow discussion about Linux architecture. Next, what is interpreter? What is compiler? Compilers, interpreters, how compilers working, how interpreters working, and all of these things. Okay, tomorrow. Tomorrow topic is Linux mm -hmm. RT. Compilers. Yeah. One second. One yeah, second. Right. yeah, one second. Next one more file system. Tomorrow topic. Tomorrow topic file system. Linux architecture. Next interpreters and compilers. So next we have tomorrow how to install Linux base. I'll explain. Okay. Hello. Hello. Yeah, oh yeah, Ram. Ram has asked some question. Yes, how many years of experience we can keep in the? Three years of experience you can put up. Minimum three years of experience you can put up. No problem, Ram. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Someone asking some doubts. Actually, my sir, Manohar sir. Yeah, Manor, yeah, tell me Manor. Yeah, I'm working in OK right now. Actually, my seat timing is 2 to 10, so I'm skipping some topics. So, can I send to any videos you know, like after completion? Doubts, yeah. Doubt, sir? 
no sir not nothing no i skipped some topics because i am skip timing so my 2 pm to 10 pm no no i i'm not able to hear you some disturbance getting why is disturbance getting your voice actually some... my sir my office skip timing is 2 to 2 pm to 10 pm sir okay actually i am skipped some topics so what are you tell now that one yeah one minute uh, uh you can take uh, this uh, our uh, video available every every day videos available okay you can watch your that videos at your free time okay but no send it to others yeah definitely we'll send every day whatever the video recorded that video will send it definitely you can download it the url will be given you can download it okay if, if not you would attend any class topic here yeah that url will be provided but you can download from that okay no problem it's not an issue right okay, okay. Yeah, next, any other doubts? Any other doubts? Yes, Vijay. Yeah, in Google Drive video is available, sorry. It's available. You can take it. Vijay, any doubt? Yes, I think today new guys some Vijay is there. Yes. Next, one more thing. Uh, yes, I'm going to create a WhatsApp group for our batch. Yes, in group also you can ping any message, any requirements. You can ping in group also, or else you can ping personally. Okay. Yes, uh, I'm giving my number. Yes, just I'll share my number. Eight one seven nine one eight nine one two three. This is my number. It's a WhatsApp number. This WhatsApp number. Yes, even still any urgencies you can call me no problem you can call me on this number or else you can send message so any text message you can you can send it so this is my whatsapp number whatsapp number even for voice call also you can use this is right okay yeah okay right guys thank you guys see you tomorrow okay yes let us wind up for today thank you